Hello everyone, welcome back to DIY Geek YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to unbox and review this uh, LTE network extender from Verizon Wireless. Um, so I got the uh, network extender uh, from Verizon um, because my home has recently uh, experienced, for some reason, um, the quality of the uh, reception that I'm getting at my house is getting worse and worse it's not getting better um, I've been at the same house with the same build quality uh, not uh, we don't have any changes on the roof we don't have any new walls uh, we didn't do any improvements that would affect the uh, signal quality but yet our signal is actually getting worse uh, especially after COVID after the pandemic so I don't know why but um, yeah so um, we complain and complain and uh, after some um, hours and hours of wasting uh, time on the phone with uh, Verizon we finally uh, was uh, not given but uh, we paid some money for this network extender um, but the network extender is here now and hopefully this will actually help alright so very interesting I'm just uh, opening it up right now and um, not knowing what to expect, I just saw this case uh, or um, I guess cover with a flap here and I open it. Looks like there is a LAN port here, um, power reset button on the front. There is a LCD window here and then a Verizon logo. Vents for the heat on the sides and on the bottom too I think this is supposed to sit facing down like this because it has the rubber feet here and when I open this it has looks like a window um, sticker so it has a sticker on the side and it says strong adhesive hard to remove from glass or wall after being adhered thoroughly okay so I probably would need to make sure before I adhere that 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 actually um, wherever it is that I am putting this on would actually be the right location. Look at this. This is a pretty long cable. Wow! Look at that. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get a guesstimate here. Let me unroll all these cable. So that I can tell you guys how long this is, so that you can have an idea. If you have one of these, um, you'll basically put the other side on a window, and you would put um, this unit. I guess you may be plugging into the network. I'm not sure or I thought it should be rebroadcasting LTE but I can be wrong alright so that's the entire cable let me see approximate length on this thing ten feet I would say about 25 feet is the uh, the length of this um, cable, and um, <clears throat> there's another box in here that contains looks like wire clips. There is one, two, three, four, five wire clips. There is this uh, flat ribbon-like Ethernet cable, and then this is probably the power adapter. Yep, this is the power adapter. It is a 12 volt. 1.5 amp power adapter okay Chinese made and that's it surprisingly it doesn't come with any documentation okay very interesting let me make sure yep no documentation whatsoever 
Wow. Okay. So I guess uh, they assume that somebody just gonna know right away how to use this. Pretty absurd. Yeah. Anyway, um, I'm gonna do some research before uh, start using it. I'm gonna plug it in and see if anything happens. But um, and what does the LCD say? Uh, maybe that will give you give me some clues of what to expect. All right, so let's plug this in. Interesting. I plucked it in and nothing happens. Um, pretty confused here. Let me see, maybe my plug doesn't work, which is impossible. Okay. I just uh, confirm my plug is working. So let's plug it in again. Interesting. It doesn't. Oh, okay, I have some light here. Oh, there you go. It's booting up. How about that? It's a color LCD screen. So it is connecting to router. Connecting to router? What is it trying to do? Please check internet cable, ethernet cable. All right, that's uh, pretty interesting. So I guess it's wanting to connect to a network. So I have a network cable or port here. Um, so I'm going to give it network. See if it's uh, going to pick up uh, an IP address automatically. And yeah, it looks like um, it got the whatever IP address it needs and then now it's uh, trying to connect. We're trying to do something. Searching for GPS signal. Wow, okay. I'm gonna take the other side of the uh, window um, sensor or signal, whatever, and I'm gonna stick it on my window real quick. I'm not going to um, remove the adhesive yet, but I'm just gonna Kind of dangle it on my window. All right, so that's there uh, at the window, and then right now it says connecting to CMP server. I don't know what CMP means. If any of you knows what CMP means, uh, please put it in a comment below. Okay, so the indicator right now is about thirty percent or 35% probably, somewhere around there. Okay, now it has changed to connecting to SE 
GW server. And the progress bar goes up to about 70% now. I'm still very surprised the fact that they um, send this extender without any instruction whatsoever. Um, another question that I have, oh, it now is changing to connecting to HEMS server. Another point that I'm wondering is that I was told that this is compatible with 5G and LTE, but clearly uh, the box just says LTE network sender. So it doesn't say anything about 5G at all. Honestly, um, I don't think there's any difference for voice quality between 5G and uh, LTE. So since I'm going to be using this at home, uh, I don't think it matters for me at least uh, if I'm on LTE or 5G for my um, main purpose is just actually just to talk on the phone. And uh, since I have Wi-Fi at home, um, I will not be needing Wi-Fi for this particular device. Um, instead, actually, um, surprisingly, knowing that this device requires a network, um, it's, it's kind of strange that if, if you were to be getting this to help uh, get a signal extender, but you need to have network, your LAN network with Wi-Fi to start with, then you're at a catch-22 situation, obviously. All right, so I think it moved, the progress bar moved a little bit, maybe about 5%, so we're about 80% right now, but it is really taking a long time. Whatever it is doing, connecting to all these servers, is taking a long time. Okay, so it's been probably about 10 minutes waiting for this HEMS server. So it's been stuck at this 80% progress for a long time. 
not looking really good at all um, not sure what it is doing so just want to let you guys know we are probably approaching 11 12 minutes now and uh, I have no choice but to keep waiting okay so I uh, watch I mean I did research all throughout the internet and everybody's telling me that they've been stuck on connecting to HEMS server for hours or days so uh, the answer is to actually reset by pressing this reset button at the back of the router and um, they say that uh, it oh, okay something happens factory restarting please wait all right so supposedly uh, everything sets up much quicker after it resets so there's a red button now here and then the corner and then now it's, it's white it looks like it's restarting okay so let's hope that uh, the factory reset will make it go much faster now this is brand new by the way um, why I would need to have a factory restart factory reset well I just got it new in the box sealed I don't know I really don't know I think Verizon is just having problem everywhere um, I was just telling my wife we're, we're just trading one problem for another we don't have good reception we get this uh, network standard now we're having another equipment another product another item whatever we're, we're just adding to our problem now this thing have problem <laughs> so anyways we're back at connecting to HEMS server once again um, let me get the current time so that I can time it right now is 11 14 11 o'clock 14 minutes at night and let's see how many minutes or hours will this take looks like it's uh, changing now this is uh, connecting to HEW server so um, I guess they're right the uh, factory reset does help um, at least we're not stuck at HEMS server anymore now it's HEGW whatever that means so let's see if it's uh, if we can pass us through everything oh it goes back to HEMS all right and actually the pro progress actually went back um, instead of it, it was a little bit more now it goes back oh look look at that it says service active press button to view information is this touchscreen oh there's a button here there's a button here I didn't even realize that eight out of 11 satellites connected zero out of 14 devices connected interesting um, what does that mean so does that mean that my phone will connect to this so I have my phone here service active press button zero out of 14 devices connected okay so I have three bar 10 out of 10 satellites 10 out of 11 connected okay but I don't have any devices connected right here very interesting how do I get my phone to connect to this network extender let me do some research and I'll get back to the video okay so um, I got the extender here and just want to show you what it looks like when we have a device connected so um, right now we have nine out of nine satellite connected one out of 14 devices and it happens to be one phone right now uh, so let me show you uh, when we pr um, dial pound four eight 
And Plus, you are under 4G LTE network extender coverage with ID 2659936. So that's what it's going to sound like or when you um, dial pound 48, you can confirm if your phone is connected to the network extender and it's actually using this particular service. Um, when we do, we have actually, as you can see here on the top, is actually showing four full bars, but it's LTE, it's not 5G. Uh, that's, that's why the box for the network extender is actually an LTE connection. But again, at home, you will most likely have Wi-Fi, which this device use anyway, and you would most likely not going to be needing internet connection, but you would need the, uh, the voice quality. So uh, with LTE, the voice quality is pretty much the same. Um, I think that's probably more important to you, most people, myself included, just to have the LTE. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you find it useful. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel. Thank you.